Good morning and welcome to Hillside Community Church of 100 Mile House, BC, Canada. My name is Pastor Clint Lang and uh, I'm just so glad that you could join us. So we're following along with the Advent calendar and we're in the second week of Advent looking forward to Christmas 2020. The, the theme that we have for this week is focusing in on the peace that only God can bring us. And um, I don't know, it's probably one of the most tumultuous years that I can remember in my lifetime. Uh, with everything being locked down and this pandemic uh, happening, people are not doing so well out there. Many people are very downhearted, depressed, angry. Well, as a matter of fact, it's anything but peaceful. And the night that Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem, peace came to earth in the form of the Messiah, one who would be the Prince of Peace. And when we look at the world the way it is right now, we long for peace, but it often feels like it's so far off on the external. It can be so elusive because it has so much to do with the state of being of our hearts. And even as Christians, you know, when we allow ourselves to be filled with anxiety about things that we can't change, sometimes um, we lose, lose sight of the peace that transcends all understanding and guards our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. If you go downtown and you ask people what brings them peace, and um, if this time of year actually brings them peace, you probably get an earful. Um, a lot of people, even at the best of times, think Christmas is a very busy, stressful season, and oftentimes it's filled with loneliness when people ponder about family and things that they wish they could change. The Broken families out there and uh, disappointments are so many. Christmas season seems like it brings about more unrest for some than it does rest. Now, as Christians, we have to have a different view of things than the standard uh, way that the world looks at things. And if we find ourselves getting sidetracked into worldly values and worldly ways of thinking, uh, I believe that this time of year can be a very stressful time of year for us as well. So we just have to look at things and uh, take them at face value. There's not a whole lot we can do about the current situation with the state of the world. But we do know that God is in control and that He has peace. We are people that long for peace. Peace on earth, peace in our hearts, peace in our homes. And, and we know that Jesus is the one that brings true peace. As we celebrate his birth and await his return, we must continue to pray that God would grant us the wisdom and the strength to see things the way he sees them. And also to be peacemakers. In John 14, 27, Jesus says, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So Jesus spoke peace to his disciples. He spoke peace throughout the scriptures. His desire is that we would be at peace with one another. When I look at the state of the world and what's happening, um, in Canada it's bad, but you look over seas and into places like Syria and, and the Congo. And when you look at what's happening, your, your heart breaks, or at least should break. I know when I see the images coming up of what's happening in different parts of the world, my heart breaks. Now, Jesus, help us to be focused on you. Help us to make a difference in this world and be a flock of peace. This Christmas, God, let us be ambassadors of peace to the others that you lead us to. Now, my friends, if we don't feel at peace with other people, how can we be ambassadors of peace? We need to make a concerted effort to let go of the things that frustrate us, of the things that divide us, of the things 
that bring unrest and focus in on the things that God has done for us and turn to thankfulness and look at the promises of God for the future that he's got for us because the future he has for us is very bright we know that in this world we're going to have troubles but he says in his word don't be afraid for I have overcome the world the world around us can be falling apart but because of Jesus we can be at true peace if you find yourself without peace today my friends turn to Jesus ask him to take away your fear ask him to fill your heart with his peace turn your eyes upon Jesus look full in his wonderful face and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace being in a relationship with Jesus is the single most important thing to bring true peace to a human heart and in the last stanza of the Christmas carol Hark the Herald Angels Sing we find the lyrics Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace Hail the Son of Righteousness Light and life to all he brings Risen with healing in his wings Mild he lays his glory by Born that no man no more may die Born to raise us from the earth Born to give us second birth As we prepare our hearts for the celebration of the birth of Christ Jesus this year. May he fill your hearts with peace as you pursue him. Keep your eyes fixed on him, no matter what may come, no matter how you may be tempted to be anxious and to be worked up about the things that are taking place around us. And become God's resting place where you are an ambassador for him. This world needs God's peace more than ever. Will you join with me in being a peacemaker? I pray that you will. God bless you. This is Food for Thought.